Uh, you know, Henry, we've got three different baits here. We've got uh, green crabs. We have John's playing with his Asian crab. We have a hermit crab who's in hiding right now. But uh, they're three very popular baits. And, you know, there's different ways to hook these, different rigs you can use. I'm going to smell a quick hook. And, you know, like I said, you could use a, a two-hook rig. What do you think, Henry, with the hermit? Also a good point, uh, Rich and John, you have to agree. It's often a good idea to take two different, at least two different types of crabs with you. Right. I mean, a lot of times in the fall, especially, uh, They'll, you know, they sh they'll show a preference between the hermits mm -hmm. and, the, uh, and the green crabs. And a lot of times, if you fish next to someone that's fishing with hermit crabs... You're in trouble. You're right. in trouble. Yeah, yeah. you can and take a bite and switch it just to that crab. Exactly. I was just going to bring that up. You know, the, uh, the, a lot of times we use hermits, and we, we don't really use them all that often down in our end of the sound here, but, you know, we use it just to get the bite started, and a lot of times it's earlier in the season. Yeah. Now, do you find, Henry, down in the ocean, do, you know, the hermits, do you use them all, all Actually, season? Actually, they'll work, John, but there's... There's no need to use them. Yeah, There's no need to go out of your way. See, that's a great point. See, I feel, again, you know, in the shallower water, 40 feet or less, I mean, I don't want to be out there without the Asian crabs. Right. But once I get into 60, 70 feet in the sound, I don't have a preference between the greens and the Asians. I think nope. the greens work just as well. Well, the greens are also bigger and they're juicier. Yeah, they're, they're, they're more, they're more they're, juicy yes, than themselves. When, you, when you're getting a bite started, trying to get a bite started, you got more scent into the water, you know? Well, again, See, hermit crabs are weird. It's a very, very tough bait to obtain. They're very expensive. He's hiding in there. I'm going to get him out. But, uh, you know, some guys, you can get them from the local commercial fishermen. There are a few bait shops that stock them. I stock them every now and then when I can get them. But they're a tough bait. Most of the guys that buy them squirrel them away, and they want to use them for themselves. Right. But it, it's pretty, you know, it, it, there's no scientific way to open up a hermit crab. But if you notice, he'll wrap around with the curl of the shell. So normally what I'll do is crack the top part of the shell first to get it around there. And then I'll go for the crab itself by working my way into it. They do love them, Rich. There's yeah. no doubt about it, especially uh, early in the season. So now I got a split shell right here. And basically now he's going to come right out. And he, oof, he's flaring, too. This uh, guy's angry. Yeah. Woohoo! We had him inside. He you woke him up. Yeah, well, he's warm now. I brought him in the shop. Well, so you just did some home, <laughs> home renovation on him. He's not too happy about you're gonna it. You're going to lose your crab, John. Oh. He's walking away. I got him trained. <laughs> he's so in I'm a kung fu stance. You got him. I got him pulled out. And this is basically a, a, a pretty nice size hermit crab. Now, uh, you can, one, you can use a two-hook rig on this. Uh, I mean, I, I prefer a single, but basically that's the hook I just nailed. And what I'll do with this is I'll take this hook. Now, there's a number of ways to hook them. Some people come, you know, right from underneath the claws and out. Right. You can almost thread this on when they're this size also. So I can come right through this, the soft part of the belly and come up and almost make it look like he's praying on a hook, you know? Right. And that's yeah. basically a, a great way, I think, a great way to hook him. Yeah, I like the presentation. I that. have enough meat where it's going to stay, and I'm not going to lose him right away. A lot of times what will happen, and with hermits, you got to be patient because you have this soft piece, right. which is an attractant. Because the begals and a smaller blackfish are going to go it. right for that first. No, by taking the time to bury that hook, you also increasing the uh, your odds of hooking a decent sized black. Yes. You know, he's going he's, he's gonna to start working on that hermit mm -hmm. crab, and before long, he's going to have that hook in. Yeah, I, I think you're going to hang up a lot less also with the way that's situated, too.